says that she loves me Isn't it lovely when the one who loves me is the one who loves me Speaking of jokes, Nikki Haley. Speaking mm. of jokes, Nikki Haley, mm. Nikki Haley. Uh, first, she didn't know that the Civil War happened because of slavery. Um, I want to do something that I'm I'm probably going to be doing, unfortunately, too much is play Chris Christie's response to Nikki Haley's <laughs> response um, to that question and play it, Smiz. No matter what these difficult issues are, you've got to tell the truth. And I'll make it easy for you. If someone asked me what the cause of the Civil War was... <laughs> It's easy. <laughs> it's slavery. And, and by the way, you don't have to take my word for that. When South Carolina passed its resolution to secede from the Union, the first reason they gave was the other state's resistance to allowing slavery to spread to the Western territories. So even if you're from the South, <laughs> so you know these things, you should also know why your own home state seceded from the Union. And look, I think all of you, if you're objective about it, could look at the way I've conducted this race and say that I've been fair. So I've been really fair to Nikki, but let me say this, she's smart. And so don't get confused about what she's been saying and what she and her, you know, new political husband, Chris Sununu, are, <laughs> are, are trying to mop up all around New Hampshire, okay? She didn't say what she said last night and today about this because she's dumb. She's not, she's smart and she knows better. And she didn't say it because she's a racist, because she's not. I know her well, and I don't believe Nikki has a racist bone in her body. All right, stop. Now you don't want to. But for purposes of this race, <laughs> right. the reason she did it is just as bad, if not worse. And she get everybody concerned about her candidacy. She did it because she's unwilling to offend anyone by telling the truth. She's unwilling to offend racist, which... You know, while if you don't think she has a racist bone in her body, placating racist makes you a like you're a racist racist adjacent. Where are the racist bones located? I just I've never really seen them. You know, on a in the, in the pelvic region. Okay, yeah, pelvic, I was gonna say in the Punani region. area. Yeah, okay, okay. That's that taint. The, okay, it's where the taint right. is. The, yeah, okay, right. all right, I yeah. didn't know that's yeah. the way they were located. Taint bone. Yeah, okay, I feel like that's where it is. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> that, but see, but see, I'm glad, I'm glad, I, I'm glad you played this right after the Chappelle thing. This is why I don't say I don't know how Dave feels about trans people. I'm not gonna assume because I might be sounding like this to some trans person right now. I'm like, he ain't got a, he don't got a bone in his body. I don't know. He might or he might not. That's not what the job of me watching a show is supposed to be about, you know. But it's also, uh, uh, in ad additionally, it's also ironic you played this clip after uh, Chappelle. Uh, us talking about Chappelle because now the Christie, Chris Christie, everybody's a comedian, and mm -hmm. I feel like this campaign, this is what we about to get for the next, the next mm -hmm. ten, ten bucks. Oh god, it's Come also wild steps. too because like set. if Chris Christie was being honest, if he was leading, he'd sound like Nikki Haley, but he know he you ain't got so? a chance. Hell you yeah, think he so? He ain't I got a chance so. in hell. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, oh gosh, why am I? Uh, don't don't let, do this. Don't make you me know he ain't got him. no integrity. No. You know he ain't got no integrity. Uh, no, you about to act like he got integrity. It's he's got more than her. He is, a, he is a trash human being, but there are moments of like, uh, I can't, I can't describe it. But like when Obama came during a, uh, you know, we had this bad storm, you know, and, and yes, Smith, what, who was it? Cindy? What was her name? Sandy Hurricane Sandy. Sandy. Yeah, yeah, Cindy. Sandy. That. Yeah, um, Obama came. It was unpopular for a Republican to embrace Obama. He did that, right? Because he was thankful for the re relief that Jersey was getting. Do you understand? Like, he's 
He's a petty little person who will shut down the George Washington Bridge over a fight with the Fort Lee mayor. He will take his behind out on the beach when no one else could go to the beach. He's petty, but there's levels to this. And I don't he, think he would do what Nikki Haley is doing because there is a, ah. He's, but see, he's strategic. He's strategic. He knows he has no chance of winning. So he can be the truth teller for this campaign. I've seen him when Trump was running flip and then get on Trump's side. Like, he is he's a politician still and I, and I'm not giving okay. him a pass on it All because right. I know that the person near the top has they are courting racist people's votes. You don't get to say this was about slavery if you're at the top. The people at the top of that Repu- who are courting the Republican majority if you got a chance, you got to be like, racism? I ain't never seen no racism. Now, this is America. It's great. It's why Tim Scott can talk like he talks. And then when he started losing, all of a sudden, it's like, well, you know, sometimes racism is real. Oh, now, because you losing, it's real. It wasn't real a month ago, bro, when you when you was near the top. It's, so it is what well, it is. It's, it's the party. It's not necessarily his personal integrity as much as it is the, this is the party you signed up for. You can't well, be an anti-racist Republican. No, and he and their party over everything on that side, but also in the in the age of just short attention span, you're only as good as your last soundbite, right? So there's somebody mm-hmm. who's gonna base their whole vote on what they heard last, and in that clip, he sounded good. Yep, he sounded That's good. Him. Yes, he did. He I've good. seen liberal people share his this thing like this is what yeah. we needed to hear, and I'm like, yeah. yeah, he said what he needed to say to get you to do that. Cause, he didn't cause, have to say it though. God, dog, it but, got me to finish. If he doesn't, right. if he doesn't <laughs> yeah. say it, we don't even talk about him. Uh, but this is what he gets This has been of. his campaign from day one, though. Is going not anti-racist, Trump. not anti-racist, no, anti-Trump. Trump. And going after Trump. And, and yeah. respectfully, go, with him versus Haley, he's punching down. So he's going after the easy target. Well, no, no. Nikki's ahead down? of him. He, Nikki's ahead not, of him. That's no, punching up. Shut, yeah. Shutting that argument down. That's an easy argument to shut down. He you can take that so. stance. No one else has done it. Right. But what I'm saying is he can take that stance. He can, he can, hey, man. Yeah, it's South Carolina. It's a, yeah, it's a layup for him. Yeah, it's a layup, you're right? It's and he's easy, last. Easy. Like, I'll tell you what's really telling on him, and this is how you know he ain't got no shot of winning. The people that are like third, you know, like Ron DeSantis, he ain't gonna say it because he like mm-hmm. nah, because I might want them racist votes, and if I could, yeah, if Nikki either. make one more gaffe, maybe I get them racist votes. Chris, like, I'm out of it. So I'm just—he like me at the spades table when you like, man. I'm I'm just cutting and, everything. And you start taking everybody down. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm cutting. I'm reneging. Yeah. I'm doing whatever. It don't matter for me. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, I ain't got no more cards. All right, eight six six. Speaking of um, speaking of exploding diarrhea, um, mm-hmm. Chris what? Christie. So oh talking my. About, what? This is segways. Segways. Oh I I just um, didn't know he had exploding diarrhea. I didn't know. <laughs> All right. Smith said, don't talk about exploding diarrhea yet. All right. <laughs> let's stick with Nikki Haley just quick. She keeps stepping in doo-doo. So she had that clip. Chris Christie clapped back. Then she was asked. She had a town hall with CNN. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're weird town halls where you stand facing each other. Like it's kind of like a fight or something. Yeah. What is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very weird. Very face weird. Off. Yeah. yeah. It's like t- 10 paces and then y'all face each other. So, um, <sighs> I can't explain what she said. I'm just going to play the clip. Mm. Play Miss. And this, of course, is referring back to New Hampshire. You were asked to explain the cause of the Civil War. You obviously uh, did not mention slavery. And afterwards, you came up. You said that was a mistake. In fact, you said it should have been the first thing that you said. So you did come out and say that. Chris Christie, though, came out and said that you gave that answer not because in his, uh, you're, in his words, dumb or racist, but because you're, quote, unwilling to offend anyone by telling the truth. Mm. What do you say to that? No one's ever said that I am unwilling to offend. I offend plenty of people because I call people out when they do something when? wrong. Um, what Lies. I will tell you is Chris Christie is from New Jersey. Yep. I should have said slavery right off the bat. Wait, but pause, if you pause, 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 pause. What does the Chris Christie being from New Jersey have to do with her not saying slavery? Was uh, what? Like he, I don't understand. He doesn't, the he doesn't know about South Carolina. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, maybe, maybe that's right. maybe she gonna maybe. she gonna talk about. Hey, yeah. I'm from right, North okay, Carolina. Okay, I'm from finish, North Carolina. Finish it. Finish it. Yeah. Finish it. I'm sorry. Literally in second and third grade, you learn about slavery. You grow up and you have, you know, I had black friends growing up. It is a very talked about thing. We have a big history in South Carolina when it comes to, you know, slavery. When it comes to 
all the things that happened with the Civil War, all that. I was over, I was thinking past slavery and talking about the lesson that we would learn going forward. I shouldn't have done that. I should have said slavery, but in, in my mind, that's a given that everybody associates the Civil War with slavery. Bullshit. <laughs> so you, you know what I hear? You know what I hear? <coughs> I hear? I hear black PR staff. Great mm. PR for the circle back. Well, where, well, Smith, where's the clip where she said I had black friends growing up? Oh, she said That's it. She, said it. she just said oh, it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, she said it. Like That's black PR right there. That I had black people. No, no black person on your PR team would tell a, a non-black person to say I have black oh, you, friends. That's the most racist, be, stupid you'd thing. You'd be surprised. Huh? You'd be, su you'd she be has surprised. Dumb black, if she has black PR people, they're really stupid. Sure. That's they fair. Black, okay. black Republican yeah. PR people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dumb. <laughs> exactly. So dumb. So where is Tim I mean, Scott? See, the thing that the mistake I think, not mistake, but the thing people do is we're evaluating it as like fair minded people. What that answer is really coded for is still Republican people that would consider voting for her. So she ain't never coming all the way over to the anti-racism side. Like Chris, Chris Christie, know that's over. He could do, he could do that. She out here like, listen, uh, it was a discussion. Uh, uh, Rhonda, I was thinking past slavery. Okay, <laughs> like but, you, which, they which asked you what started smart. the Civil War. That what do you mean but you which start is, past slavery? But here's what she did though, which is actually pretty smart. She, slavery is a given. They teach you that in a second of right, grade. right. Come on, knock it off. That was smooth. Here's the thing, though. Smooth. Here's the thing, though, Lamont. Being from down here, it's not taught to you in second and third. Yeah, I'm grade. sure. I'm yeah. sure. She lying yeah. like hell. We they they don't. They, yeah, they be yeah. teaching you. It's states' <laughs> rights. They be teach you everything, but that they do not say the word yeah. slavery. <laughs> yeah. The, you know when they bring up slaves, when they go, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. That's when they bring up slaves. <laughs> well, maybe that's what she meant when she said Christie's from Jersey. Maybe she was alluding to. Yeah, that's what she was alluding you know, to. Where, was like where you're from. They yeah. might have talked. Y'all yeah, won yeah, the war. Y'all probably just be like it's slavery. But down here. Right. But yeah, she knows she's doing. <laughs> Smiles and says that she loves me. Isn't it lovely when the one who loves thing is the one?